Uh, we're proud to announce we have a three-year deal with Siak Min Yoon. And I'll tell you a little bit what we like about Yoon. He was the youngest starting pitcher on the market this year at 27 years old. He's a nine-year veteran of professional baseball in Korea. He's a three-time All-Star. He also won the Gold Glove. And in 2011, he had the pitching triple crown. And you know, lifetime, he's got a 2.75 walk strikeout ratio, but actually in the last three years, it's, it's 3.72 to one. So he's improved over the last three years, and that's always a good standard, if you will, for players that are coming into uh, Major League Baseball, particularly pitchers, because now we know he has the pitches, and he has good control of the pitches, so he, he can uh, throw the ball where he wants to. And Upon his debut, he'll be the first Korean pitcher for the O's. Um, and uh, we're number 18, which I'm told is the ace number for uh, international uh, pitchers. Uh, this is part of our uh, international recruiting strategy to be aggressive in all markets around the world and help the club be a perennial contender. And the work that the club did with uh, Chen, the lefty, pitcher we picked up a couple years ago from Taiwan via Japan uh, will help us in terms of acclimating uh, Yoon to our environment and, and getting comfortable here in the States. And he was recommended by four scouts to us, uh, including uh, Brett Ward, Mike Snyder, Jim Howard, and Ray Portavent. And we want to congratulate him and uh, wish him a lot of luck on his career here in the States. Dan, um, I just, uh, you know, in your time here, you, you've signed uh, Chen, Wada, uh, and now Yoon, and you also have one other four in the Korea. How, how do you, how do you rate what you've done internationally as a whole so far, in your opinion? Well, we're making good progress on the international market. The, the uh, of course, Chen was made an immediate contribution to the major league team, and and we hope that uh, Yoon will be able to help us this year during the year. In, in Beyond that, we've signed some really good young players. Uh, Fred signed some good players in the international market. Miguel Gonzalez came to us from the international market. So we're making good progress there. The, th the thing I want to point out about uh, Yoon is that Yoon is a free agent, OK? He fulfilled his uh, obligation in the KBO and came here as a free agent. And he deserves a lot of credit for his determination to pitch here in the major league because he could have pitched in other leagues. And um, arguably the 2013 season was not one of the uh, top seasons of his career, but he still maintained that he wanted to pitch in the big leagues. I mean, he could have went back to Korea and had a better platform year and come to us the year after. He, he, but he wanted to pitch in the big leagues. And I, I think that his desire to pitch in the big leagues um, there's a lot to be said for that, and, and he should really be commended for that. His repertoire, he's got a very good break and pitch that he uses against both righties and lefties. So he gets a lot of strikeouts on that. He's got an excellent changeup that he uses versus lefties and very good command. He's, he's of similar repertoire to our Miguel Gonzalez, uh, according to our scouting reports. Buck, know how easily um, Chen blended into the clubhouse and the way he was welcomed and, and wad up when he was here before. You feel like you've got the right clubhouse, the right environment, atmosphere, whatever. This should be an easy transition, and he's going to feel welcome right away with this group. Well, yeah, I do. I have a lot of confidence in, in the, the, the culture of our guys. Um, you know, it starts, you, know, you see the flags up there. You know, I want our guys to understand we're not in this world alone. There are other people in this world that can play the game as well, if not better, than us. And uh, we embrace anybody that can help us win, and we think he has a chance to do that. And um, I think we, whether Nick Markakis has a background of, of Greece, whether you know, we all have some background, and our guys go out of their way to make their path easier, and it's just something we talk about a lot. You know, you put yourself in Henry Arita's shoes coming out of Cuba, being stuck in Q uh, Haiti, and next thing you know, he's here. We're talking about today, you know, this is Henry's first real foray into spring training, big league camp. So. You know, you're sympathetic, but you're not empathetic. You know, you try to make the transition as fast as possible. I think the mistake you make is if you try to make him adjust to you instead of you adjust to him. Shame on you. So, um, you know, I'm real confident in, in our guys. And, um, you know, he's got a great personality. We've done our homework. It's, it's, I think it's going to be pretty seamless. But at the same time, we'll have our radar 
up about things we can do. Um, that's why one important thing is, is the interpreter that's with him. You know that uh, we've been fortunate to have really good interpreters that have kept us ahead of the game. But we want to make its path easier, and I think our players are good at that. There were a lot of teams with rumored interest. Why the Orioles, and how much did maybe the, the multiple years of the contract factor in your decision? 이제 다른 팀들도 많이 너한테 관심이 있었는데 왜 오리얼스를 어, 선택했냐 무슨 이유 때문에 왜, 어, 그 계약서가 더 길어서 선택했냐 이렇게 물어보는 거 어, 뭐 일단은 그 계약의 그런 조건이 뭐 제일 좋았고 어, 그거보다 더 좋은 거는 내가 음, 최대한 빨리 어, 마운드에 설수 있는 그런 팀일 것 같아서 um, Obviously he liked the terms of the contract and Dan was very um, gracious with, uh, with the terms, so he liked that. And then secondarily, uh, the opportunity to start and try to compete for a starting position here with the Orioles uh, was the secondary part of his decision making.